All right, let's start in first position. It's nice and easy. We're just going to do two demi plies, one ground plie. Cut my head off. Okay, so here's our preparation. Five, six, seven, eight. Demi plie and stretch. Really activate those muscles. Demi plie and stretch. Ground plie. Really use your pointy bra. Use your head. Uh, forward pull. And then rise. Really activate those muscles as you balance. Same thing in second. Two dummies into the bar, out, rise. Fourth position, same thing. Let's do a tanju. We're going to come right back. Arm extends, our arm higher, come down with the plie. Same thing, two dummies, one wrong. Let's take a circular quarter bra and then just balance this two two. Okay, you guys are going to be recorded, so make sure that you're really working up to your potential because I want to see you really using your turnout and using your core, keeping your hips nice and level. Here we go. Open up from that nice preparation. Here we go. Ready? Demi plie and stretch. Demi and stretch and ground plie all the way down. Flat back up, good, rise, and let go right away. Good, come down, tanju to second. Make sure you're coordinating the timing. Demi plie, and stretch, demi. Make sure those knees are going over your toes. Grand plie, hold your core, don't let that shoulder droop. Good, reach out, up and over. Turn your chin over. Good. Rise. Five. Let go. Six. Come down. Seven. Demi round to four. Eight. Demi and stretch. Demi. Good. Use all your music. Let me see you really using those muscles, even on those demi plie. Good. Arm down and up. Tendu. Combre back. Turn your head. Hold your chummies. Good, rise up, our arms higher, let go, come down, tanju to fifth, demi, and stretch, resist down on that demi plie, resist down, and as you straighten, squeeze your bun, ground plie, good, squeeze your thighs, circular vertebra, down and around. Rise up and balance. Get your knees really straight. Hold it there. All right, detourne. And hold your susu. And finish. Okay, this is so funny because <laughs> I so many of your heads are cut off. <laughs> I could just see your bodies. <laughs> and I'm like trying to remember who was in each little square. <laughs> that was funny. All right, other side. Hey guys, even your demi plie, make sure that you're really resisting. Demi all the way down. And every time you come up, see those buns, okay? Here we go, other side. Show me that preparation. Lift down and stretch, squeeze at the top. Demi and stretch and grand plie all the way down. Knees wide, 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 wide. Yes, Katie, beautiful turn up. Forward full. Now flat back on the way up. And rise. And come down, tanju to second. Nice wide second, girls, so you can really bend those knees and demi and stretch. Keep, keep pushing your knees back, 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 back. Good. Now reach away before you go into the bar. Chin over your shoulder. Good. Rise. See your arms. Yes. Tendu to four. Use your head, 
girls. I like to think about following that pinky finger with your chin. Ready, tendu, arm down and up. And come right back, really stretch, stay over your hips though. So. Uh-oh, don't let that leg go, Miss Zoe. Good, rise. Move your hands. Tendu to fifth. And stretch. Demi, keep your shoulders back, Audrey. All the way down, 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 down. Keep that left shoulder nice and lifted. Good, circular for the brow, down and around. On Dior, Miss Maggie. On Dior, not on Do it again. <laughs> there you go. And balance. Hold it there, shoulders down. All right, close your arms. Make sure your arms are only nose distance apart. All right, and detourne. And show me a nice finish. Good. Um, hey, Addie, watch so that uh, your arms aren't super wide like this. I have to give Jaden that correction too. Um, close your arms a little bit more. Um, All right, when you're doing that combre back, make sure that you are really lifted over that supporting leg. No weight can be on that front foot at all. And you make sure that you're lifting up and back because I saw a couple of you let go. Um, and always think about like your ribs and those hip bones, like you have those suspenders on, especially in that, in that stretch. You don't wanna release your abs, okay? Because then you're gonna lose that lose that position. All right, let's work on our tendu from first. We're going to do a demi point, demi close, two more tendus. We're going to do that on quoi, okay? Let's see here. Find my music. Actually, let's just do that front, side, and back. Okay, then we're just gonna reverse that. Here we go. Got it? All right, hey guys, something to really watch. Hi, Angelina. Hi, sorry. Hi. I had, I'm good, I had internet problems. Oh, shoot. All right, well, we're just doing tendus. We talked for a while. So. Okay. Um, hey guys, pay attention to your arm placement when you're using your arms in that tendu. Make sure that, um, your arm is in second. How do we get our arm from second to up to here? How does our arm move? Can you show me? Show me. How does your arm get from here all the way to the front? <laughs> yeah, so Nate, you've got to make sure that you're going through all the positions. So our arms here, it has to come into a low fifth through first and up. Right? And then when you're working on your, your arm opens to second. How does it get from the side to the front? Can you show me? How does your arm get from the side to the front? <laughs> yeah, we don't really think about it. Our, sometimes our bodies just go on autopilot, right? But I want to see that you're really making sure that you're going through all the positions. If your arm's here and you have to get it to out to a second arabesque, it has to come down through first and then allonge, right? Okay, so and then make sure <clears throat> after you come here and you open that arm, when you're coming from the back, you're here. You have to round your arm before you open the second. And then how does our arm get from here up, down, up, yeah. 
Okay, here we go. First position. Two more tendus. Out and in. Out in. Oh, that's the count. Really use that dummy point. Yes, Pete. Out in. Make sure your knees are really pulled up. Derriere. Dummy point. Dummy. Don't twist those hips. I see some hips twisting. Ready? Arm down and up. Front plie. Alessago. Plie. Derriere, plie, rise, and reverse. Out, back, oh wait, sorry, dummy. Point, I did that in the last class. Out and in, out and in. Out is a couple. Make sure you're using your head. Good, Addie. Pull those knees up. Make sure you those kneecaps are pulled up with that muscle right above them. Derriere, plie. All is take on. Plie. And rise. Just hold your arms in first, girls. Okay, hold it there. Now think about your kneecaps. Lift that muscle up right above your knees, your quadriceps. Really pull your knees all the way straight. All right, cross to susu, arms up to fit. And detourne. Hold your thighs really tight on the other side. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And finish. Good. All right, Maggie, make sure, watch your arms. Make sure they're real deliberate, moving from second. And if your arm is to the side and then you have to go to the front, your arm has to come all the way down through first and up. I know we don't think about that. We just kind of put that arm on autopilot sometimes, right? Hi, <laughs> Adele's here. Okay, other side, guys. I love this La La Land song. Ready, Demi? as hard as you can. Think about those toes being really long and stretched. Good. Demi, point, demi, looking at under your hand. Plie, out, plie, derriere. Rise and down. Derriere, demi, point, demi, all right, guys, check your balance. Let go of the bar and see if you can still keep moving. Make sure you're not relying too heavily on that bar. Always, I'd say in each combination on both sides, take your hand off the bar while you're working. Make sure you're not relying too heavily on that bar. Where are your heads looking? Good, dare your arm comes down and through first. Plie. Arm comes all the way down. There you go, Emma. Pretty. And rise. Arms to first right away. Hold it there. All right, cross to susu. Arms up to fit. Squeeze those thighs really tight. All right, detourne. And finish. Okay, hey guys, you know I teach a lot of like little babies, right? All right, which is really, it's interesting because I look at some of the things that I'm teaching and I see some of you guys and I just want to remind you about a couple of things, okay? Every time you finish a bar combination, you have to coordinate your arms and your feet. You don't just plop down, right? So think about this. Everybody just face me, go to Susu. The angling of this computer sometimes, right? Okay. Go up to Susu. Now before you release your legs or your feet, make sure you release your arms and then you have to coordinate your arms coming down to get there at the same time, right? We don't just pop, right? So everybody, make sure that however you're finishing, whether it's straight legs or a plie, that your arms and your feet, like as soon as your hands come down, your heels come down. 
It has to be a coordinated thing. So think about that every time, okay? All right, let's go to fifth position. Tendus. Okay, let's do two tendus. One, two, three, four, one degage, one PK. We're just gonna do that on quad. One, two, three, four, one degage. And if you can let go on that PK, that's what I'd really like to see. Cause I wanna see that really nice, beautiful, strong postures that you can hold your leg up when you do that PK. And remember the PK is down up, the accent is, is up. Okay, same thing derriere. Two tendus, one degage, PK. Let go, two tendus, one degage, PK. Okay, second time around, let's do, uh, let's use the arm, three tendus to fifth, actually two tendus to fifth, number three, stay out. Let's do a little plie in fourth. I wanna see a perfect turnout. Okay, remember when we're in plie, it's easier to turn out, but think of it still coming from your hips and then push up and close. Side's a little different, two, three, plie, really deep plie, push up, close back. One, two, three, four. Uh, actually, let's use the arm. And then when you plie, just round that arm and then reach. And then same thing. This one's a little different. I'm gonna plie. Um, I'm gonna give you a choice, depending on what you're using for a bar, what your surface is. Yes, please. If you want to do a pirouette, you can. If you are just more comfortable coming up to passe, just do that, okay? And then the song is nice and long. Let's reverse that part of our combination um, where we start our three tendus derriere, plie, push off, a la second, uh, plie to second, front three, push off. And then this time, two, three. Can we try en dedans? Ah, <laughs> you know, we might just want to go to coupe. And then that'll be our passe balance at the end. You got it? Okay, so the first part, two tendus, one degage, PK. That's en croix. Okay, just arm in second. Second part of the combination is three tendus, plie, fourth, push off, close. Three, a la seconde, push our plie in second, derriere, reach the arm, and then plie, either passe releve or pirouette, and then repeat that part going back. Three, plie, three, plie, three, plie, three, plie, either passe releve or on dedans, pirouette. Question? You guys good? Yes, Maggie? Um, if you want to do a pirouette on dedans and, uh, Oh shoot, Rainfart, uh, Andy Don and oh my god, uh, can you just put your leg in coupe? Yeah, in case it, it's gonna hit, uh, if you, it's gonna hit the bar, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know about you guys, but like doing a pirouette at the bar sometimes freaks me out, like I'm gonna hit it, and so then I'm like more worried about that than I'm like really thinking about my posture. So if you don't want to turn, I mean, your safety is number one, right. Um, you don't want to turn, just go up to passe. And then our balance is going to be in passe. Katie, posture, where are those arms? Lats, okay? Remember what we talked about with rolling our arm forward and then under and activate. All right, here we go, guys. Katie, um, maybe your angle of your camera, but every time I look at you, your arm looks like it's up really high like this. Make sure that your shoulder is higher than your elbow, your elbow is higher than your wrist. And it, I think it's because um, the camera's down and looking up. So lower your arm a little bit, a little bit more. Yeah, you have a tendency sometimes to do this. So just make sure you're really um, thinking about dropping your shoulders. It could just be somewhat the angle of the camera too. All right, here we go, everybody. Tight fifth, two tendus, one degage and a PK. Show me your preparation. Go. Out. In. Out. 
in the Degache, King K. Check it with that arm. Out, let's take off. Real tight, step. Out, King K. Back, close. Back, close. Brush, hold. PK, let go. All the second, yes. Out and out, like pretty Zoe. Out and brush, hold. PK, good. Arm up. Out and out and hold it here. Turn out your fourth. Plie, push up. Side, close back. Side. It's Hatanju, Maggie. Deep plie in second. Push up. Good. Derriere. Close. Out. Close. Out. Plie. Round that arm. Good. Last time. Side. And either passe releve or pirouette. Good. Start back. Two. Three. Four. Five. Plie. Push up. A la seconde. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Plie. Push up. Good. Front. Close. Where's your arm, people? Plie. Side. Close back. Side. Close front. All right. This is where you're going to balance. Ready? Turn or passe releve. Hold it there. Turn out that passe. Hold it there. Push your arches up high. Let me see those long toes pointy. Good. All right, think about your posture. Think about those lats holding your arms. Try to let go. Looks nice, Grace. Keep pushing out that knee. You see that perfect turnout. 20 seconds. Keep holding. Now don't let that leg that's lifting up in passe be heavy. Keep lifting, lifting, lifting. Now try to close to Susu without the bar. And then detourne. Coordinate your arms opening first. Try that again, Katie. Open your arms and then coordinate your feet and your arms coming down at the same time. Good. Peace. That was an awesome balance. Holy moly. Love that. Okay. You guys ready? Other side. Do you all understand the combination? Yeah? Because I saw some weird things happening. All right. Maggie, make sure <laughs> the three tondus are tondus and not degages. Well, hello, Mary Hope. Are you Elsa today? <laughs> All right, here we go. First part of your combination. Two tondus, one degage hold, and then PK out, in. Arm is in second. Degage hold, PK let go. Good, side, close back. Don't let those hips move. Hold your abs tight. PK. Good. If you can't let go it's not, it, and balance, you're not holding your abs tight. PK. I need to see you balance there, Katie. Out, in. Rush. PK, hold. Good. Arm up. Three, two. Here's your plie, deep plie, and push. Good. A la second. Two. Three, four, out, plie, push. There's no passe there. Plie, push, out, in. Now this is your passe or your pirouette. Plie, and then start back right away. Go back, close, back, close, out, plie, push. Side, close front. What's your arm doing? Deep plie, tendu. Good. How did your arm get there? Some of your arms just appeared in front. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, ready? On the down or just a passe relevant. Up. Okay, hold your balance. All right, check in with your cereal box. <laughs> we talked about earlier. Keep your hips level. Do not lift that left hip. Keep holding. Think about what your shoulders are doing. Are you engaging those lats under your armpits? 
So hold your posture. Really nice, Addy. Ellie, beautiful passe. Maggie, you're wobbly. Contract your muscles. Let's see, Olivia, hold it. Don't let go. All right, close to Susu when you can with control. And detourne. Coordinate your arms opening first and then your feet. All right, was that a hard combination? Because it was kind of a mess. <laughs> All right, do you guys understand what I'm saying about your arm coming from uh, Alisagant up to fifth, how it gets there? Because I don't think some of you are thinking about it. It has to become automatic. You can't just be like, oh, my arm is supposed to be there. It has to come down through a low fifth first and a high fifth. You have to think about how you're moving your arms in ballet. All right, guys, I want you to face your bar. If you have like a, a, an actual bar, get behind it and face me. Let's do penguin degages. Let me figure out the timing here. Um, eight, eight, four, four, two, two, one, 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 one. Let's use the arms though, okay? I'm cutting myself. If it looks like I'm not actually looking at you and I'm like this, it's because I have this big monitor next to me so I can see you guys nice and big. Um, let's do just some, um, Let's just do it right and left. This is just so I can see your hip alignment, okay? And I wanna see that these degages are just nice and sharp. Just that speed, okay? And then after, you do the right, start on the left. When we do our singles, I want both arms up, no bar, okay? And this is gonna be really good for you when you watch yourself back to see if you're keeping your hips level. All right, here we go. All right, show me a nice preparation. Start with your arms on ba. Here we go. Ready, out, two, three, and bar, and one, two. There you go, keep going. Look out the way and switch. Sharper. In, two. Accents, in, switch. Two. Both arms up. One, two, three, start left. Look up at that arm, that hand. Switch. Are you counting? Make these sharper. Four. One, two. S is in. Switch. One, two, three, four, two, two. Both arms up. All right, just finish. This is so funny for me because I hear the music, but I think there's like a little bit of like a lag where <laughs> for me, you guys should be closing, but your leg is out. And I think it's just like our internet like speeds different. I don't know, it's kind of funny. You'll notice when you watch each other back that you guys all look like you're going at different speeds, but I can't get mad because I think it's just, uh, I think it's just the internet. Okay, guys, let's do a uh, round de jump. Just nice and easy. We're gonna do a preparation with a big plie. All right, start in fifth, plie, arms gonna come all the way up and stretch back. Just nice and slow, four round de jambes. Do a fifth round de jambes and brush it up to 45 degrees. This is gonna be a slow round de jambes on layer. I want you to pause in, in um, second and then try to keep it like it's going on like a little table all the way back. And then plie, 
down the straight knee. Four, Rondo Jones, on the down. Number five, go around and brush up. Keep your hips down as you carry up the out. Pause slightly. Front, plie, up. Arm comes up through attitude. Keep your arm up. See if you can balance there. Through susu and down. Okay, let's take a little bit of a stretch here. Let's go forward with a plie, back plie. Keep your arm up, side stretch, plie, away. Then let's wrap up for our ankle. Forward, keep that plie, open to the side, carry your leg. You can kind of twist around right here, it should feel good in your hip. And then I want you to let go and leave that leg up. Okay, then you're gonna close front, Inside leg, keep your chest nice and broad. Lunge down, forward. Let's take a nice core stretch. I want you to pretend that your back foot is connected to that hand. When you come up to releve, bring that leg up with you. Hold it there. Okay, stay up on releve. I want to see a beautiful penche up on releve. Keep your leg up, bring your body up, attitude, and then that's our balance. Got it? Questions? All right, here we go. All right, this is another combination where we have to really think about our hip placement on those rond de jambes. Only your leg is moving in the hip socket. Keep your hips really nice and level. All right, here we go. Fifth position. Feet. 
Bend your knee more. Lift that thigh, push your thigh behind your body. Come on, Maggie, you can hold it. Come on, Zoe, lift your attitude. Push it behind your body. Make those back muscles work hard. Okay, both arms up, I need to see your balance. If it feels like you're gonna fall, bring one hand down, but don't give up. Toes up. Hold it, last four counts, you can do it. And then show me a beautiful finish. And coordinate your arms and your legs and come down. All right. That was not too bad. Fight for that um, balance there at the end. I know that those back muscles are just screaming, aren't they? I see Abby like, oh. <laughs> you know, I always say if your back muscles aren't hurting, after you, especially after you hold an attitude like that, then you're probably not doing it right because those are the muscles that you really need to work, right? All right, that ponche was so pretty, Angelina. Oh my goodness, she was like in a perfect diagonal line. Um, don't forget the part of the ponche that I just love and it makes it look so pretty is before you actually go down. Um, so a lot of times in ballet, there's like an opposition, right? So like before you um, go down in your ponche, you want to go the opposite direction. So we're going down, so we're gonna go up first and then go down, okay? It's the same thing like even when you're doing a forward stretch at the bar, I'll show you from the side, before you go forward, you kind of go back first a little bit, right? And before you do a cambre to make it really pretty, you come forward first and then go back, okay? There's an opposition, that's, that's what makes ballet graceful. It's not, we're not robots just folding forward. So we have to use our breath, right? So guys, without the leg, let's just do the side that we just did. So you guys have your, which leg was back? Your left leg? Yeah. Okay, and so if you're on your, a ponche can be, um, I, I always love this position, it looks really pretty, but we usually do um, where we're crossed here, so we breathe up and then go down. Can I just see you guys holding your arms? Yeah, and then breathe up to go down. Good, all right, let's try the other side. All right, tight fifth position. Use your breath. Ready, plie, and stretch. Round and jump. One, and two. Keep your hips really square. Three, and four. One more round and jump. Brush up, 45. Carry, hold it in second slightly. Keep that turn out, Katie. Good, plie front, high passe. Turn out right away through attitude and hold. Hold that arabesque. See if you can let go of the bar. Good, time to close back. On de dong. Back and around, and two. Accents back. Three, and four. One more, and lift. Keep your hip down as you carry, yes, Grace. And front, plie. Think about what your arms are doing. Passe. And arm up as you extend through attitude. Get that heel up. And see if you can let go. Stretch your leg all the way, Katie. Good, ready? Forward, breathe. Go back first a little. And then forward. And up, plie. Now a little bit forward to go back. Open your arms, down each plie, and away. Chin over your shoulder. Plie. Good. Down, okay. Up to passe. Grab that heel. Plie to the front. And carry it to the side. See if I can still do this. Oh. All right, hold it there. Keep that turn out. Get that hip under. Okay, fight for it, let go, but do not let that leg drop down. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, let it shake. And then with control. Good, close fifth, angle into your bar. Time to back. Before you go down, breathe, and then lunge down. Keep 
your turn now. And then use your abs to come up. Good, nice wide fourth. Really bend that front knee, cambre back. All right, ready? Lift up that leg in your body. Up to your elevate, go. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Now everybody together, breathe up and penche down. Push your arches up. Think about your weight being in the ball of that foot. That's pretty, Abby. All right, keep your leg up and lift your body. Yes, Ellie, beautiful. Hold it there, stretch your knees really, really straight. You're up on releve, Miss Maggie. All right, bend that knee. Push that leg behind you. Make sure it's right behind your derriere. Keep lifting your thigh up. Okay, right knee is connected to left shoulder. Stretch that left arm up higher, Emma. Stretch your elbows up. Keep your shoulders down. Higher releve, everybody. Okay, fight for your balance. Make it work, Maggie. Come on, girlfriend. Hold it there, you're almost done. Good, nice strong ankles. Hold it there, Olivia, you can do it. Okay, ready? And elange, stretch. Both arms. And And finish. Why were you still hanging on in your attitude? All right, Angelina, your both arms are supposed to be up, silly girl. And then stretch them up. <laughs> All right. Hey, go like this. Stretch out your back. That feels good. Just round your back. Hey, I have a really fun conditioning class for us today. Do you guys all stay for conditioning? I do this ballet. It's called ballet body sculpt. I'm going to do it with you guys today. I think you're going to like it. Okay, guys, let's do a fondue. Just nice and easy. Um, on quad, but I want to really work on your balance here, okay? We'll just go right to the other side so we can get off this bar. Let me make sure this is my fondue music. All right, let me mark it with you so you know the timing. Let's see my feet. This is your preparation. Nice and easy, but balance, okay? This is where if you, your hips are lifting, I'm gonna be able to really see. Make sure your hips are square. Think about keeping that cut in your legs because your legs are gonna be 90 degrees or higher. Work up to your potential, but don't lose your turnout. Okay, fifth position, here we go. Some of your preparation. Ready, melt down, fondue. Bon. Leave your leg there. Plie. Your leg has to go a little higher as you plie. And up. Let go. Melt down. Alasidon. Stretch. Leave your leg up there. Plie. And up. Let go. Derriere. Stretch. Plie. And up. Let go. Good. Side. Keep that turn out. This is your last one. Plie, releve. And detourne, other side. Fondue. And stretch. Plie, releve. <coughs> Let go. Good. Fondue. A la second. Keep your leg up. Plie. Stretch that supporting knee all the way. Derriere. <coughs> Extend. Plie, and up, let go. Okay, this is your last one. Fight for your balance, make it your best. A la second. Plie, and hold. And 
and finish. <laughs> Good. Okay. Hey guys, remember, some of you are trying to force that turnout and that's what gets your hip up. If you are working in your best fifth, everybody's standing your best, best fifth with your right foot in front. I'm gonna watch you guys do this. Sure, I can see your feet. Okay, look down at your foot. Do you see where your toes are pointing? Now follow <coughs> that imaginary line, like if you drew a line out from your toes out to the side. No, just tondu on the ground right there. Tondu on the ground. Okay, now keep your hips really level. You can put your hands on your hips just to make sure. Okay, now lift your leg from there, but don't let anything happen to your hips. Lift your leg from there. Good. So are you thinking about the turnout on your supporting foot as well as the turnout on your working leg? Yeah, that's what you always have to be thinking about because I saw some of you really trying to get that leg out to the side, but then I saw this happen. You were really working on this turnout and then I saw you losing this turnout. So you really almost have to be thinking about the turnout on your working leg, that derriere muscle. You have to think about that wrapping back around itself even, almost even more than this one because you've got to be able to hold that when you lift that leg, you've got to hold that turnout on that supporting leg. Does that make sense to you all? Yeah. Oh, good, Abby. You fixed it. You see, did you feel how your hip was up? And then, <laughs> and then you fixed it, right? Okay, so watch it especially to the side. Do I want your leg directly to the side of your body? Oh, well, yeah, of course. But do we all have the world's most perfect turnout? No, we don't. So we, you got to work on where your turnout is, okay? I noticed this with Jaden, because I've been doing some privates with her. She wants to, like Lejeune pushes her to be in perfect turnout. She doesn't have it, and I'm afraid she's gonna hurt herself. And she can hold her leg out directly to the side, but it's not totally turned out, and they force her to do that. What happens is, she lets go of the bar, what do you think is gonna happen to her body? She falls over, honestly. So as her mother <laughs> and a ballet teacher, I'm saying, work with your turnout. Can your turnout improve? Yeah, your turnout can definitely improve. How do we improve our turnout? Does anybody know? Yeah, answer me. How do we improve our turnout? Abby? Oh. So, uh, like using your inner thighs and doing inner thighs exercises? Um, yeah, I mean, inner thighs definitely work, but it's, what it is, is it's your deep rotators. Do you know where your deep rotators are? Yeah, those are the muscles that are, like when you're doing clamshells. Clamshells are all deep rotators, yeah. Actually, there's a couple exercises we'll do in conditioning where I'll show you two um, ways to strengthen those rotators. Um, I hate clamshells. <laughs> they're sore. They're hard. Clamshells are really hard. Do you know that that is part of my weakness? My physical therapy, every time they tell me, not only do they want me to do the clamshells where you open and close, but this is the one that we all forget about because it doesn't seem hard. It's this one. This one. Because that is working so deep, you don't even realize that it's working, but if you try it, everybody lay on your side. My coffee cup is blocking you. If you lay on your side and curl your knees into a ball like you're a little baby, wah, 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 you lay your head down. When you, okay, we, when we do the clamshells like this, we feel those muscles, right? But now glue your knees together, keep your hand right here, and lift and do that reverse clamshell. That's working those deep rotators too, yeah. And that's how you improve your turnout. Honestly, if we all did 30 clamshells and then 30 reverse clamshells every day, do you know how strong our deep rotators would be? Do we all do that every day? No, <laughs> why don't we? Because it's boring and it hurts, right? 
but it really does help. <laughs> so if you're bored, you do your clamshells. That'll really help. Okay, we did both sides, right? All right, let's leave this bar. Do you guys want to put point shoes on? Or not? <laughs> Angelina, no. Point at home is really hard, isn't it? Ah. Uh, okay, guys, let's, we didn't do a frappe. Are you going to be heartbroken if we don't do a frappe? <laughs> no, we're not going to have a lot of time in the center. Let's do a grand batma with a cloche. Do you have enough space where you can like really swing that leg around? All right, let me find some music here and we'll do a... Miss Dina? Yeah. Are we doing that at the bar? Yeah, let's do it at the bar so we can finish and go to the center. Okay, so we're gonna do two ground ball moths. Let's use the arm. So five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll stick out one, two, three, four. Let's take a little round of with the jeté around. So you're coming to like a little baby attitude and up and around. Make sure it's making a big rainbow arch all the way to the back, okay? And then two, ground ball moss, actually use the arm. One, two, three, four. Clash back, front, back, and close. Um, two to the side. And let's take um, our little scooby dooby doo up to releve, back. And then do it again, come down and up. And let's just take a coupe balance, coupe de balance. Arms in first. Got it? Here we go. All right, really quick up, slow down with control. Arm up, up, slow down, up, slow down. Clash front, back and front. Side, tongue you down. Sure, hold those arms with those lats. Get that knee out. Now think about this turnout on that supporting side just as much as you're thinking about your working leg. Now without the bar, try to go to Susu. And then Detrine when you're ready. Arms up to fit. Good, all right, other side girls. Here we go. Show me that preparation. Arm up. Up. Here's your clash. Brush the floor harder, girls. Coupe and around. Coupe and around. Back. Those are fast. Two. Here's your clash. Clash. Front. Back and close. Side close front. Side close back. Scooby dooby doo. Up, rave, close back. One more. Up. Good. Go to Susu. Coupe. Push that heel forward. Just your toes touch. Okay, think about lifting up, lengthening your spine. Arms to first, and then close to Susu when you're ready. And Detrine. And finish. All right, good job, girls. Hey, get a quick sip of water if you need to. We're gonna go to the center. We don't have a ton of time, but I do wanna work on some pirouettes. Are you guys okay turning on the floors that you have there? Okay. Um, 
Let's find some music. Uh, take, just take a second to stretch and I'll come up with our combo. You can do your splits, do whatever you need to do for your body, whatever feels good. <coughs> If you're still stretching, just listen to me. Let me move this bar out of our way. Out of our way. Okay, so we're gonna start in, in fifth position. Um, let's angle our bodies a little bit. So you're gonna have your right foot in front. I'm a mirror of you, okay? So we're gonna, um, our preparation is gonna be breathe out five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're gonna have our left arm in front, arms in third, okay? Two tondus, one debuté, one ground bump up. And then we're gonna transfer our weight. This is where I want you to be really cognizant of where your weight is. I don't wanna see you transfer your weight. I just wanna see you go from working with your front foot to your back foot without much moving in your body. That's why I want you to be really pulled up, okay? Two tondus to your ear. One negligee. Um, hey, on that ground bottom, huh? let's stretch. And same thing when you go to the front, just bring your arm up, okay? And then bring your arm back down. When we go to the front, or on box, same thing, all the second, two times, one negligee, ground bottom, close everything, tendu, plie, find your passe releve, and then tendu and pirouette. Okay, we're gonna stay there because I really want you to work on your pirouettes. Well, Emma, that was good. Um, I'm gonna let you choose if you're feeling safe on your floor at home because uh, I want you to watch yourself back when you watch this recording. I want you to watch your pirouette. I want you to make sure that you're really pulling up, that you are coming down with control that your arms are nice and rounded, your posture is exactly as it should be, okay? So you're gonna get to choose. The first one we do together is gonna be a passe releve. The second one is a pirouette. And you can land in back or in front, however you want to. And then just stay there. We're, let's do um, four more, either passe releve or pirouette, singles or doubles, you choose. And then I'll stop the music and we'll go to the other side. You got it? So two tendus, one degage, one grand mama, but you're gonna lift the arm up. Okay, and then we get transfer our weight, derriere, and then a la second. Here we go. Fifth position, start quasi. Okay, ready? Breathe out. One more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. Pirouettes are one of those things. 
there you you've got to be able to coordinate how much momentum you give yourselves i see some of you guys like turning so fast that it looks like you're gonna you're trying to do like five turns <laughs> okay i think one single pirouette is almost harder than a double because you can't give yourself that much momentum and you have to be able to coordinate coming down, right? Okay, make sure, let me, let me remind you of a couple of things. Things that you know, I know you know this, whether you do it or not, it's a different story. Um, your wind up is your plie. I see some of you wanting to use your upper body. Don't use your upper body. The only thing you're using your upper body is these muscles right here. Remember how we talked about your arms? Hey, let's try this just for, just for grins. Open your arms a second. Let's do our cute little new trick. Ready? Flip your top of your arm forward. On the down. Angelina, you didn't do this with us earlier. Ready? Flip your arms forward. Let's say your palms are back. Top part of your arm is forward, right? Bottom part of your arm flip under, like on the oar, and use those muscles. Now close them, keep squeezing those muscles, and keep squeezing those muscles, and see if that helps your pirouette. Did it help? <laughs> I don't know, but I, all I know is that you've got to squeeze those muscles to hold your arms, right? All right, some of you are forgetting a good head spot, too. Don't forget that. Okay, let's do the other side. All right, left foot in front. Ready? Go. Turn out, push that heel forward. Let me see that pretty foot. Rush. Crown pop up. Good, derriere. So let me see that weight transfer. Up, rush. No stretch. Up, down, 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 down. Head to whip. Degage hold. Think about those muscles. Peter died. Oh, shoot. I better look at my battery. I'm going to have to plug mine in for conditioning. Okay. Hey, guys, when you are doing a pirouette and you're doing multiple turns, make sure that before you even start your pirouette, that you know how many turns you're doing. Do you ever just decide when you're up? Should I just keep going? <laughs> no, don't do that because that's where you may get hurt because you might not be like fully pulled up. But I, before you go into that pirouette, I want you to commit to how many you're doing, okay? And let's say um, Emma, she's like a spinning top down there. I don't even know how many, how many turns are you doing? <laughs> she. My floor is really slippery, so I can be like, well, not slippery, but I can be like four or five. I don't. <laughs> I thought I was thinking. Oh my gosh. But you know what? That is, your posture is so perfect that that's what happens. Like once you get that mind body connection and you have that perfect axis, you can keep spinning like that. But be careful because I don't want you to hurt yourself. You have to make sure that you come down with control, right? Okay, those of you that are doing the pre-point evaluation, that is something that they will test is <clears throat> whether or not you are coming down with control, okay? I was trying to teach pirouettes to the last class, and um, the hard thing like to coordinate is going from, and it's hard to teach people who don't know how to do pirouettes how to do them, um, it's going from two feet to one foot, right? So that's what you have to still think about, those basics of your pirouette. 
and then coming down from one foot down to two at the same time. And that's what those um, children's hospital people will watch to see this part right here. This part, <laughs> as I fall out of it. You know what I mean? No, they're coming down at the same time. And it'll just be, Abby, just like one, a single. You don't have to do multiple turns. Okay. All right. Hey guys, let's do a little jump and then I'm going to give you just a couple minute break. If you are staying for conditioning to get a sip of water, use the restroom. But um, I want to show you something. I know Emma said her knees were kind of hurting. I know jumping at home is not ideal, but I saw one on that PBT website. This is really cool. I don't know if you guys have a memory foam pillow at home, but I saw this really cool exercise and I'm just gonna show you guys. Um, I think any kind of pillow would work, but I would make sure to ask mom or dad because um, they probably don't want you jumping on like your good <laughs> bed pillows. But the memory foam is really good because it's really squishy and this will help your knees if you're jumping at home. Um, and this is what they did. Let me show you this exercise real fast. So you, you put your memory foam pillow next to your bar. And then if you have a ball, do you guys have a ball like this? Because I was going to use one for um, conditioning. Does anybody have a ball like that? No? Well, <clears throat> you need a ball. This is like, I mean, I got it at Kroger for a buck, you know? Stand on the memory foam and you put the ball between both knees and then you jump up on the pillow and land on the pillow. So it adds, you know how on the semi-sprung floor it kind of cushions your knee? That's another way for you to work on your sautés. And then that's another thing too for the pre-point girls is what they look for is they look to see if you're coming off the ground with a pointed toe and then coming down with control. Okay, so that's a way to modify jumps. Are you okay if we do just like a small jump combination? Yes, okay. Just to get our heart rates up a little bit. Nice and easy, let's do. And this will be a good thing for you to watch back too, girls, is making sure your body doesn't move. Okay, this is going to be short, 33 seconds, so we don't really mess up our knees. Okay. From first, make sure that you're holding your posture. Four sautés in first. Hi! Four sautés in second. Changement to your right foot coming in front, but you're going to turn one, two, three, four, su su, on your shake cat. And then again, one, two, Three and four and five, six, seven, eight. Turn this way. One, two, three, four, su su. Under shake out. And then we're done. Ready? Four and first, four and second, four changements turning, su su, under shake out. All right. Don't let your arms move. Okay. Keep your body pulled up. Keep your cereal box square. Here you go. Ready? Go take a uh, little break of water, get a little snack if you need.